So here we are with our third uh, in the series of creating DOS icons or tiles for DOS programs. And we're going to go back again to the DOS box. Go check out our other video uh, to see what's going on. But uh, we're going to right click and say create shortcut, just like we do with Galaxy and Arkanoid. And we're going to rename this one. Uh, if you notice, so we're going to go look and see which is the program that I want to use. Uh, there's a Tetris program here. Uh, so we're going to go down and look through some of my old programs that I've saved. Some are more fun. Either. Here's one, Load Runner. Again, a classic. It's in the Load Run directory, and it, the command is just LR. So I'm going to go back here and rename this uh, shortcut here to Load Runner. Now, this is what's going to appear on our Start menu when we get finished with this. So we're going to right-click and say Properties. I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to add again the dash C command, just like we talked about before. Uh, if I go back to the uh, load runner directory, it's load run. So the first thing I want to do is put a dash C, and I'm going to go ahead and change the directory to load runner. So it's going to be CD, and then uh, load runner LR, and uh, we'll go ahead and run that and see how that works. So if we click on load runner, nothing happens. It can't find the DAT file. So I didn't change the directory, and I actually just did a command. So if I were to go back here, right-click, and say Properties again, and just like we did in the last video, I'm going to add in a command here. I'm going to say C. I'm going to put in quotes. I'm going to say Change Directory to Load Run. And then I'm going to go to the next command, put a space in, a, qu a quote, and then I'm going to put a space in. And oh, I didn't finish that correctly. I have to take out, at the end, I have to take out the... Uh, put another command in and, and take out the directory and just put the LR command because that's the name of the program in the load runner directory. Put that in quotes. And I'm going to come back at that and click on, make sure everything's okay. And click on okay. We click on it and sure enough, load runner comes up. Uh, and there's load runner running it again at 3,000 cycles, so it's pretty damn fast. So we're gonna, we can again change that by doing uh, the speed command uh, F11 and F12. Actually, later on we'll probably run a video on how to change their speed uh, via the command line as well. So uh, load runner is working now. What we want is the icon. So in order to get the icon, we're gonna run the game again. Now here we are here. I'm gonna do a print screen of the game while it's running and everything. I'm gonna come over here to paint. And click on run paint, hit a paste, and there's the game. I'm going to grab it. I'm going to crop this image out of it. And there's my load runner image. I'm going to crop. I'm going to say, okay, pixels. But they, you don't really have to make a 16 pixel or a uh, 32 pixel. You can make them this big as well. It's just that the resolution is going to stink when you uh, put it on your on your page. So let's say I'm just going to leave it at 184. Uh, uh, well, you know, we'll just do it like that. So, anyways, we come back here and we say save as. Don't forget, we have to save it as a BMP file. Let's try that again. Save as BMP because BMPs are recognized by the operating system as a valid icon file. So I come over here and I'm going to title this loadrun.bmp and loadrunner.bmp okay so I'm done with paint so I can come back over here right click here say properties here go down here to change icon browse for the directory go out here to the loadrunner directory and change this to all files and there I find the there it is. There's the image of the BMP file as an icon. It changes it right there. So if I right click and I say pin to start, I now have load runner icon. If I click on it, it should run the program in the right directory. Should do everything just fine. Matter of fact, I'm eventually going to have a whole bunch of icons here in my DOS area of running DOS games. Let's try it out. Oh, there we go. Load runner runs, loads up just fine. So again, this is uh, going to be a whole bunch of different games we can run at any, any given time. Uh, and have them. As a matter of fact, you'll see here that I have, I can run two DOS games at the same time. There's really no purpose to do so. But the point of it is, is that uh, you can run DOS games all day long and everything and have a lot of fun with all the old DOS games. And you can do it right from your start menu. So what you're going to end up with is, is that, uh, let's close these down here first. 
what you're going to end up with is uh, there's a whole bunch of shortcuts here in the DOS uh, directory under your your DOS box directory of all the different shortcuts to different games. And of course, you have to keep this relationship where they're located at the same, otherwise you're going to invalidate a lot of these commands. So you always have to keep that. The other thing you're going to end up with is a bunch of icons. Now, what's really nice is that these icons here, you can group them into a, a group called, you know, that has, you can name, it says all oh, your uh, legacy games and everything out here. So, and, and by the way, in Windows 8.1, you can just one size smaller now, so you'll be able to have even more. But right now, we're going to go down to this right-hand corner here. We're going to right-click here and say, name this group. I'm going to call it Legacy. Do, 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 do. And there's Legacy. I click anywhere on the screen. I'm back, and there I am. have all my Legacy games uh, there to play with. So uh, we're going to do one more uh, tutorial on how to create this icon and uh, links to your old DOS game. And later on, we'll also talk about the this, this Scum uh, virtual machine that runs the old LucasArts uh, games, including Indiana Jones and a couple others. Again, uh, a lot of fun to have all your games right here on your start screen.